Good day, fellas, and welcome to a casted game. This is an extra special game because we are getting to the very pointy stick. The pointy stick, the pointy end of the stick. Well, at least for the tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, this is EGCTV's The Elite Classic. And today, we've got an absolute banging matchup for you. Spawning in on the north side of the map in the color green. Playing as Joan of Arc, representing Team Elephant. It's Louis MT. And on the south side of the map in the color orange, playing as the Delhi Sultanate. Representing Team 3D, we've got B. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a casted game. This is Rocky Canyon. A little bit different from Rocky River. You might be familiar with that map. If you're enjoying this content, though, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Because I know I know you. I know you. If you don't hit that like button, if I don't remind you right now, you're not going to do it. So go, go ahead. Go do it. Anyway, let's get to it. Because, uh, well, it is it is time to check in with the scouts. See exactly where these two guys are at here. We got ourselves a little bit of split screen action. Just... Both scouts tagging out each other's respective sides. Respective? Respective sides. Excuse me, I've had a little bit to drink tonight, so hopefully we don't say anything that's going to get us cancelled. You know, it's a bit interesting when you drink alcohol. I, I didn't drink alcohol for a very long time, um, mainly just because there, there was an incident that happened when I was about, uh, I think, 17 is when it happened. And then I just never drank alcohol for a really long time. But uh, I've started drinking it again recently, and it's a bit weird, I'll be honest. At, at the moment, my wife's got me onto some sort of wine of some sort. I don't know. Anyway, anyway it's, 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 it's nice. It's, it's nice to have. It's, uh, I don't mind it. It, it kind of tastes a little bit like cordial. That's probably the way I would describe it, which is, is a pleasant experience. And speaking of pleasant experiences, if you'd like to have a pleasant experience, why don't you come with me this evening in just a couple of hours from when this video goes live, EGC TV is going to be live over on Twitch. I'm going to leave a link in the description of where you can watch it. And of course, you know, I want you to be there. So be there. Enjoy, enjoy some more Age of Empires games. We're going to see the world's best players fighting off in, I think it's going to be the quarterfinals tonight. Hold on. Grand final, semi-final, quarter... Yeah, it's going to be the quarterfinals tonight. So, I'm excited. You're hopefully excited. And if you're excited enough, you'll come out over on Twitch TV and, uh, and join us over there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, let's get into it. Let's talk a little bit about this matchup. We've got a, a booming matchup here right now. It is Joan of Arc. It is the Delhi Sultanate. Two civilizations that... I love, right? Because let's talk about Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc is that annoying civilization that you really don't want to fight against. Because if you fight against them, she's or fight against her, she's going to get experience. And if she gets experience, you're going to be in trouble. Because if she gets level three, she's going to have those men at arms that are annoying you. And if she gets level four, she's going to have that damn cannon. So you don't want to fight her. The problem is that on the other side of the map, the Delhi Sultanate absolutely love fighting. They say, we're going to take the sacred sites. We're going to take as many as we can. We're going to try our best to defend them as well as we can. And then we're just going to fight it out a little bit more. And maybe if you're lucky, we'll go Castle Age and kill you there. Uh, so I'm excited because that seems like a pretty interesting stack of uh, of decisions that are going to have to be made here for B. I'd almost be tempted to say maybe going for like a fast castle might be a decent idea in this matchup. I don't really know too much about the matchup because I, I play neither Joan of Arc nor Delhi Sultanate. Uh, but the, one of the things I, I'm thinking about is like, obviously you want to... I think you want to move into crossbows pretty early if she's going in for that uh, that that woman at arms option. Um, and so moving into crossbows sooner is just going to make sense if you go to Castle Age sooner. So th there are ways that you can play the Delhi Sultanate where you don't play Feudal Agents. I wouldn't say it's competitive, though. Uh, and you, you just go straight up to Castle Age, pick up relics, or at least try and pick up relics. Um, it's... Uh, it's a sneaky, it's a sneaky little way to play. Anyway, let's check in over on that top side and see how Louis's doing. Slowly and steadily, the landmark is coming up. A decent timing, despite only having the two villagers on it, including Joan herself. Uh, and we do also see we've got the wheelbarrow now going to be coming through as well for Louis. Down on that south side, the Tower of Victory now going to be coming up as well here uh, for for Louis. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna check in and and pull this bad boy up right here down in your bottom left hand corner. You'll be able to track the experience of Joan of Arc down here. Keep an eye out on that because that is going to indicate where she is in relation to her next level. So at the moment, she's going to be building inside the base of Louis, and that's going to be pushing that XP even higher. We can see four minutes and 30 into the game. She is about to hit that next level, but can't quite find it just yet. So if there's any more buildings that need to be created, I'm sure Joan is going to be looking to be the, the, the one to get them down. Scout on the other side of the map, going to be looking to try and spot out exactly what B is up to. How many vills are on gold? Has he stopped collecting gold? Because he probably should have, because he's playing the Delhi Sultanate. He's not going to be looking at that. He's just going to be looking, okay, wh where are the military production buildings? That sort of thing. That's what we want to know. But now coming around, we do see Joan. No, that's not Joan. That is a knight, but it could be Joan. You know, it'll be Joan soon. Don't worry. It'll be Joan in 10 minutes. 
spots the stable. Ghazi Raider is going to be on the way here. And this is going to be fun because we're going to be seeing the Ghazi Raider, which is faster than the Royal Knight, uh, take on the Royal Knight. And I think that's an interesting uh, situation as well because the Royal Knight runs around with impunity for pretty much every single matchup. And yet here against the Ghazi Raider, it definitely feels like one where they can get caught, uh, caught in a bit of a bad spot. But towards that top side, it looks like it's going to be the Hunter that comes out here for Louis. So not going to be moving into the Woman at Arms. Instead, going to be opting for that Hunter route one of the things that we have seen is this, uh, the, the Hunter becoming a much more common um, option for players, mainly because it, it sort of bypasses the Siege mechanic at the moment. If you don't want to make Springles, that's fine. Just use Joan and she will one-shot the animal, enemy Mangonels. Well, not quite one-shot them, but you know what I mean. Like the Divine Arrow just, choo, and that's it. That's it. That's all done. Double range immediately thrown down, though. In, a, in response to this, neither player looking for a second Town Center just yet. Of course, we wouldn't really expect the... Um, the Delhi Sultan to do. Uh, I think we've only seen them do it once, and it was Louis MT who did it. It was on Highview. I still remember the game. That's a that's a very good game in my heart. He he went uh, 2TC, Delhi Sultan it, and instead of going the Tower of Victory, he went for the Dome of the Faith. Whew. Oh, never mind. I thought that was three knights right there. It's only going to be the two knights, though. And I, I remember that uh, Louis went straight fast Imperial in that matchup. And he's going to look to try and take out the sheep. I reckon he could get that one at the back if he does focus. There we go. He does get it. Poor little guy. And he gets the second one as well. 3DP getting denied out of those by Louis. Louis, you monster. I can't believe you. Anyway, Louis towards that top side. Have a look at the upgrades that are coming through. Double broad axe. Horticultures coming through. Keep in mind these are cheaper for the Jean of Arcs. For the Joan of Arcs, I guess. For the French, for the Joan of Arc. Uh, and then on the other side, we've got the Delhi Sultanate with their free upgrade. So everybody gets cheaper upgrades today. Some people don't have to pay anything for theirs. Some people still do. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, it's one of those things. Not a bad little opening here. Scout going to get collected. He's got to be careful, though. He's about whew, one hit away from copping it. Not going to happen just yet. Meanwhile, those Ghazi Raiders are going to be forced back away uh, from that front. So I find it interesting that, that Louis has opted to go into... Uh, the woman at arms, or not going to the woman at arms, just mainly because with the woman at arms, um, it, it feels like it makes so much sense against the Delhi Sultan because they're going to be going into a barracks shortly if they don't already. In fact, we've got a double blacksmith opening coming through from B here. So he's going to be looking to pick up all of the upgrades, all of the upgrades, you know, you know remember the meme from like 2008? 2008 and it's all the things. And she's she got that little stick, the cartoon character. Well, now we got all the upgrades. There you go. All right, well, we do now start to have Louis. Putting pressure out onto the map. He knows that those scholars are going to be out shortly. Not long until Sanctity is through. Party's on the way now. Sanctity... In, uh, in fact, I think Sanctity might already be through. If, if Party's being researched, then Sanctity is, has completed. Indeed, it has. So where will those scholars go? We'll ride on board with B and watch that line of sight as he should be able to move out towards that first one. There's, there's the, uh, the, the Spearman, as we suspected. Going to be starting to mass up spears maybe that's what he's waiting for realizing you know what we need spears doing a really good job though out on the map raiding not raiding but looking for any kind of reinforcements wants to i think go after any archers if he spots them uh, and now moving up towards that top side has spotted out all the relevant resources here for his opponent we actually see the deer hunt has been killed already louis just knows exactly what b is up to at those early annoying shenanigans and here down towards the south side i think B may need to return back home because, yeah, well, we have got ourselves out. Where is he rallying out here? Okay, looks like he's... We got, ooh, oh, we got cheeky little one-way rallies out here. What's out here? Just the boar. Just the boar. Nothing too crazy. Uh, but now going to be looking to try and pick up this sacred site. And you can see it's a little bit more... In, in this situation where it's a tournament game, it's a little bit more methodical, right? In, in your ladder games playing up against the Delhi Sultanate, there's a really good chance that playing up against them, they're, they're just taking all three sacred sites at like seven minutes. Not going to be the case here. Oh, oh, oh. Louis probably could have got in on that. I reckon he would have been fine as long as he came north side of the sacred side. But now getting completely surrounded. Louis getting overwhelmed here as B's numbers are pretty decent here. Keep in mind, Louis towards his base has still got a huge amount of archers that are just kind of chilling out. He wants to make sure that they don't get caught out of position here by the Ghazi Raiders. The Ghazi Raiders, of course, very, very quick. Do get that bonus damage against ranged units. Do get that bonus damage as well against heavy units. So they get a, a little bit of a, a double uh, right here, a double counter, and that, that's what we're looking for, this surround. You've got to use the number advantage that you've got as much as you can. But now Spears coming forward. The Archer numbers should be more than enough to one-shot here. Keep in mind, you've also got the Hunter from Joan coming through him, now teeing off. Looking to try and focus down the Spears. Won't be able to find it just yet. There we go. One does go down. 
Oh, arrow comes off onto the second one. We'll be able to take that out as well. Three spears on the field remain, and you can see just how quickly it turns when those spears go down. And this is exactly where B needs to be looking to focus on a few more, uh, a few more spearmen. Get get out those barracks, and uh, and and look to try and pump as many spears as he can. Walls the boar in on this south side as well. Sacred site's looking pretty secure at this stage. We'll now begin to focus on the second sacred site in the center. How's that for some alliteration? Not quite all S's, but we went, we got as close as we could. Now towards that middle, Royal Knight's going to be looking down the barrel of all of those Delhi units, but able to scare them off for the moment. Wants to avoid losing that scholar. Keep in mind that when it comes to scholars, you got two options. Number one, you can you can uh, mass them up in in the feudal age, spend all that gold that you're getting. Because keep in mind, there's a decent gold income that's coming through here, um, and we can see that Delhi's or that uh, B is going to be doing that. Um, the alternative is that you save that gold, maybe for some A jumps, maybe if you want, but against an aggressive player like Louis, it seems like B is going to be opting to go absolutely all in here. So we'll keep an eye on, on, on uh, Louis and see how he's doing in the north. We'll track him for a little bit here as the Royal Knight's coming down, looking to try and find a way through. Not going to be able to spot it just yet. Unfortunately, realizes that there, there is a wall down there. So unfortunately, can't make his way through, but... Lumber camps continue to be added. Blacksmith thrown down. Ranged armor on the way through. That's going to be the last upgrade he's gotten. This is a really smart move as well. Notice how normally when you're playing, ranged armor is the first upgrade you get. But he's up against a double melee combo. Spearman together with Ghazi Raiders. And speaking of Ghazi Raiders, have a look at this. Big surround now coming through. Louis MT manages to get the villagers out there, only losing one. Meanwhile, towards that south side, it's going to be a trade out here. Keep in mind that, that already through this game, there have been a number of villagers that have gone down in favor of Louis MT. Uh, but look at this. We've got, a, got ourselves, we got ourselves a little bit caught out of position. What is going on here? Ghazi Raiders trying to find a surround. The, the knights as well. Meanwhile, across the other side of the map, Spears able to chase those knights away. Looking to try and find a way out. But towards this top side, have a look at this beautiful control coming through from Louis. Manages to squeeze through the backside there. Keeps Joan alive, taking out all of the Ghazi Raiders. And just, just remember that he's going to be able to charge. That was the wrong direction. He did an attack move trying to hit the Ghazi Raiders. Hits the, hits the wrong target. Let's, uh, let's, let's get that uh, single screen back in now that we're, uh, we're tracking the same thing over here. Apologies, apologies. Spearman numbers have now risen, but the problem is you've lost all your Ghazi Raiders, B. Jeez, I tell you what, if, if there is a pivotal moment in this game, that is going to be it. Oh, 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 what are we having for dinner tonight, Mum? I thought they took horse off the menu back in the 50s. No, sorry, Bob. We're, the horse is back on the menu. Um, yeah, so I, I think if there's a pivotal moment in this game, that's probably going to be it. The fact that B got caught out of position here, we could see he was kind of trapped, but at the same time wanted to attack, but... Just didn't think he was going to get stuck there. Definitely did get stuck there. Now he's going to be in a tough spot because all of a sudden, Louis got the uh, the oh, level three already. I didn't even... Oh, she got sniped out straight away. I didn't. I wasn't even paying attention to level two, level three. 13 minutes into the game, I thought we were still halfway there, but I guess there's been plenty of fighting. So naturally, with plenty of fighting comes plenty of experience. Men at Arms got out just in time, though. That was so funny. On the other side of the stealth forest, she just steps there and she's like, yeah, this is clearly safe. Pops the men at arms, dies. Wow, that was quick, man. That was really, really quick. The, the, how, how quick that was. That was super quick. I, I sound like my son. When, when my son learns a new word, he just spams that word over and over and over again. What's he been doing? Uh, there, there's oh, he he learned a new word. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> He did not learn it from my wife. I'll tell you that much. Uh, for all those people who are going to think that, I think he learned it from his sister. Uh, so. I, I don't know what, what's happening up there because because uh, they're, they're play areas upstairs. But yeah, he, uh, he he says, oh, God. So there you go. And, and you might be wondering about sister. He's gonna, you're going to say, Drongo, sister, what's going on? Well, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of info about my family. Uh, so uh, it is my uh, my wife's daughter. Uh, and so, uh, so she's technically not my daughter, but I still call her my daughter. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, there you go. Look, look, look at that. Drongo getting a little bit personal, giving you guys a little bit of backstory. So she, she's a bit older than him, but, uh, they still get along like a house on fire and he just, you know, she says one thing and then all of a sudden he, he's repeating it. So hopefully she keeps it respectful, you know, otherwise he's going to start soon. Anyway, towards that top side, a little bit of a raid coming through here. Louis on the defensive manages to avoid any losses underneath that hunt. Jack back in with the front side. Doing a decent job here. Mass starting to build. Keep in mind, he's still training units. I'd love to see a third stable get added in just so he could really look to pump here. 
One of the big threats that he's got is Castle Age. That's another thing to note, is that if, if he goes Castle Age, uh, it could be a very decent timing for him. The problem is he can't go Castle Age because he doesn't have enough information about B's army. Now, he's not going to get any information about B's army right now. As Joan returns to the battlefield, all he's going to see is the Scholar on the Sacred Site. Now, keep in mind, the army will be very close, but obviously it's not going to be on the Sacred Site. He doesn't want to give that information over, doesn't want to let his enemy know exactly what is up. And now, the consequence of doing that is just going to be that the Scholar eats a whole bunch of lances to the face. I think that's what they're called, right? Lances? Swords? Torch? Yeah, lance. 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 You know, I, I, I saw a joke on Reddit the other day. I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to read it to you guys. I'm, I'm not going to read it. I'll try and recite it. I'm going to try and remember it properly. Kids these days, they don't get named Lance enough. Back in the 1600s, people always named their children Lance a lot. <laughs> That's like the king of dad jokes, dude. It's so good, man. Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, 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 you know me. I'm a sucker for dad jokes. That's the thing about becoming a dad. When you become a dad, you learn to appreciate jokes that are just absolutely terrible. And have a look at this. This is not a terrible joke. My friends, do not joke about this. Village is about to get eaten alive by the Royal Knights. Together on the backside is that Mounted Hunter is just going to be one-shotting villagers. Look at her firing off, dude. Just taking shots. Be going to be losing plenty of villagers out here. The double digits. No, sorry, Bob. Not quite close to it just yet. Meanwhile, towards that top side plenty of army coming around but village of bodies just absolutely strewn across the floor strewn across the floor i think i've done i've made that i've done i've had that question before but uh towards the so top side we've now got ourselves a little bit of a double raid happening right now so we've got action all over the map i'm gonna try my best to to follow it for you and see if we can spot out exactly what happens here as b looks to begin making his way back across meanwhile have a look at that louis has the wall been complete? The wall looks like it has been complete. So we'll switch it over as he makes his way towards this top side. Looks like jo Jones got double healing coming through. You can see just so, so many healing right there. So many heal, so many healing, Drongo. Oh, she snipes out the middle. <laughs> she sniped out the middle one so she could get through. Look at that. Well, I mean, she's not through, but the, the Royal Knights are through. Because the risk right there is that you get blocked, that you can't go through. Meanwhile, have a look at this. Now keep in mind, she is ranged, so she will get countered by these horsemen. I think she's got... Is she going to go down again? I think we're on cooldown for this. She's going to pop the heal. But unfortunately, just like the last time, use an ability, get taken out. And uh, Louis now, I think he's going to have to head back to that drawing board. He uh, doesn't have enough resources to return the Saint just yet. Uh, but uh, let's take a look at this defensive position because he is outnumbered by an absolute mile. Have a look at this. 39 up against 60. Now, granted, that, that 39 or 42 now is made up of Royal Knights. And Royal Knights, I don't know if you know this, they're kind of expensive. Pretty damn expensive, in fact. Uh, and as a result, while that military population may appear... Oh, I always get so... I, I hate that they use the same sounds, dude. I thought it's an age up, man. I'm like, where's the age up? We're not... Come on. We're not watching the AU bids. Sorry, I, I just realized income uh, per minute wasn't showing. Normally, I like to get that around the 10-minute mark. But uh, today, you guys get it at the 18-minute mark. How's that for you? Um, Jones' experience is not the highest. I will say that much. I thought she would be level 4 by now. Come on, mate. Well, consider consider this, right? Okay. She got level three at 13 minutes. We're now at 18 minutes. And look at this. Look at this. Uh, is it is it bugged? No, it's not bugged. I'll tell you right now. It's not bugged. She's still just like level... She's 3.1 at this stage of the game. She's just been dying too much. She's been dying a little bit too much. Meanwhile, towards that top side, we have got action going on absolutely everywhere. Towards the front as well. We've got more of it happening I'm trying my best to find exactly what's going on. Villagers will go down. Let's bring that split screen in as well, just so you can see what's happening. Now you can't see what's happening, though. That's the problem. Let's pull it back in. Sorry, guys. Um, we have got ourselves a bit of a battle unfolding here, but just slowly and steadily. Look at the micro coming out, though, from Louis, making it work. Behind the scenes, the Royal Knights clean up, but there were villagers that did go down. Both of them trading out. And look at this. Round the backside, a couple more Ghazi Raiders going to be coming through here. And... I think B may have to look at researching Siege Engineering if he wants to try and break through that wall just with the Archer numbers present there. It's going to be really difficult if you want to actually get through that without taking too much damage. Ghazi Raiders continuing on the move. More Ghazi Raiders on the way. Look at B, just so good at rallying. Three Ghazi Raiders, three Ghazi Raiders, three Ghazi Raiders. So difficult to deal with. Now Sacred Sight in the middle is slowly but steadily being neutralized here by Louis. Well... Not anymore. Scholar is now uh, is now off the sacred site. And we're following the Scholar, so unfortunately, it doesn't work. Army's looking pretty decent. 55 versus 69. This could be it. You can see neither player thinking about going to Castle H here. All resources currently invested in military. All upgrades currently researched. This is 
as good as it gets for the feudal age. I've seen a lot of complaints recently. There's not enough feudal gameplay. Everyone fast Imperials. What about this game? How about this game right here? Let's take a look. We're getting into it. The battle begins. Archers now getting chased away from it. He's going to have to pull back Royal Knights if he wants to defend this. There we go. The Royal Knights came forward. Sacred Sight is neutralized. More archers on the back. Remember their Tower of Victory archers. Going to get that little bit of extra attack speed. Knights towards the front. Needs to focus down these individual spears. This is the way that he wins here. If, as long as the spear number goes down, he wins this fight because the Royal Knights are way too strong in this situation. Looking to try and distract reinforcements. The heal comes through on the backside. Healing up all the Royal Knights just when you thought it wasn't even close. The Royal Knights say, have a little bit of this, baby. And they cheer they cheer a toast with their wines because they've been drinking wine lately and I'm going to be honest this does not look good right now for B Louis overwhelming his opponent completely the royal knight number this, this is how you win this is your victory as the French as Joan of Arc as the Rus in the feudal age it is called knight superiority and there you have it ladies and gentlemen B has just lost to it. This is what happens. Too many knights on the field, not enough spears, or well, the spears get taken out, and the knights win. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, go check them out tonight. EGC TV, the link is in the description. 15 GMT, a couple of hours after I post this video. Go say good day.